Yo, what's cracking guys? Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about something that is super exciting that I think all of you guys will want to pay attention to and that is how to make $100 plus orders every single day. Uh, yeah, let's jump in. So in order to make consistent $100 orders like these, you really have to understand two basic concepts. Number one is buyer psychology, uh, why people buy, what the process of buying is and, and what uh, sort of journey people go through and how you can create that journey for them. Number two, um, sort of the mechanics of how to actually do that. So we are gonna be covering both in this video, lucky for you. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the computer. Uh, like I said, we need to first discover what the, uh, the sort of, not the mechanics, but the, um, the psychology that a buyer goes through in order to uh, actually make a purchase. Because let's say, uh, for this example, let's just say we're using the fishing niche, okay? If you're Dix, it's Dix.com or uh, you know the store, the sporting goods store, um, it's easy to go ahead and sell like a $100 fishing rod, right? Because you have a brand behind you. Now, somebody like me who doesn't have a fishing brand, it's a little bit tougher to make that $100 sale and I'm gonna put more effort and more marketing dollars into actually being able to market it in order to make that sale. So, instead of going straight for the high ticket item like a lot of people do, what I prefer is to start with a low ticket item. So I'm gonna draw this out in Photoshop for you guys. But basically, you would start with, um, we'll call this a low ticket item. And this is generally anything between 10 uh, to $30, okay, sorry, I don't have a Wacom tablet, uh, so this kinda sucks, but um, yeah, so 10 to the $30, hopefully you can read that, um, on your low ticket offer. So, uh, in the fishing niche, what are things that we could sell that are between, say, 10 to $30? Um, some things that come to mind, I don't know the, niche, the fishing niche that well, but I'm assuming like fishing line, fishing lures, um, maybe reels, I don't know how much a reel goes for, maybe that's not even close, but uh, we could do some research and figure out what it was. But let's just say for this example, we're using fishing lures, okay? I could easily see a fishing lure going for $7 to $10, maybe on the higher end, maybe 12. So what we could do in this example is say we have our lure. So uh, this circle will represent our lure, that's what we are selling. All we would have to do in, at this point is send traffic to this page and um, you know, assuming it's a good offer, assuming that you're using different conversion tactics on your website that we've talked about in the, in the past, in past videos, then uh, you know, you'll probably be able to get at least a 4% uh, return. Because what we're looking for here is not necessarily to, I guess, make a profit uh, per se. I, I would like to make a profit, obviously, but you know, that's always the end goal. But I'm okay if I don't because I have things in the back end, I have upsells, which I am kind of relying on to make the money, okay? So uh, this is sort of the process that I think a lot of you guys are at right now with the whole free plus shipping thing or uh, you know, Instagram influencers. A lot of you guys are at this basic level where you're just sending traffic to a product and it might get 2%, it might get 4%, whatever conversion rate, which is awesome. You know, you're, you're making the money there. But where the real money comes in is when you actually put in some upsell. So what am I talking about here? Basically, we can find similar products to this fishing lure that we can use to then upsell and increase our average order value to that $100 plus. You know, maybe the highest order I've ever gotten was like $370. Um, and it's because I applied these tactics that I'm talking about. Okay, but there's also such a thing as, uh, as customer lifetime value, which uh, for me, I know my tactics, like everybody, every person that subscribes to my e email list, I know is worth about $10 which isn't a lot. I know a lot of people have like, you know, everybody is worth $40, which is insane. Um, I'm not that great at email marketing yet, um, so I'm not to that level. But I know, say I have like 2,000 people on my list, everybody's worth $10, that's like, what, 20,000 right there. So um, essentially, either they buy or they don't buy. Either way, we're sending them to an email list where, uh, you know, we can retarget or we're also sending them to um, uh, Facebook retargeting, um, which is something that if you don't have set up, you definitely need to have set up, especially if you're doing Instagram influencer marketing, because you can easily get like 500 visitors a day from one uh, promotion on.